The MGA design dates back to 1951, when MG designer Sid Enova created a streamlined body for George Phillips' T. D. Le Mans car. The new bodywork traded the MGTF's articulated fenders and running board for ponton styling, with a single styled envelope fully enclosing the width and uninterrupted length of a car. The TF featured a high driver seating position. A new chassis was designed with the side members further apart and the floor attached to the bottom rather than the top of the frame sections. A prototype was built and shown to the BMC chairman Leonard Lord. He turned down the idea of producing the new car as he had just signed a deal with Donald Healy to produce Austin Healy cars two weeks before. Falling sales of the traditional MG models caused a change of heart, and the car, initially to be called the UA series, was brought back. As it was so different from the older MG models it was called the MGA, the first of a new line, to quote the contemporary advertising. Rather than the originally intended XPAG unit, the car was fitted with the new straight 4 BMC B series engine from the MG Magnet Saloon, coupled to a four speed gearbox. Unlike the coupe, the convertible had no exterior door handles. It was a body on frame design, and suspension was independent with coil springs and wishbones at the front and a rigid axle with semi elliptic springs at the rear. Steering was by rack and pinion. The car was available with either wire spoked or steel disc road wheels. While the make, or mark, is MG, the model was named MGA by John Thornley in 1954. MG 1500 Production 1955 to 1959. Engine 1489 cc, 1 1.5 L, B Series 1 4. The 1,489cc engine fitted with twin H4 Type SU. Carburetors produced 68 horsepower, 51 kilowatts, at first, but was soon uprated to 72 horsepower, 54 kilowatts. Lockheed hydraulic drum brakes were used on all wheels. A coupe version was also produced, bringing the total production of standard MGAs to 58,750. An early open car tested by British magazine The Motor in 1955 had a top speed of 97.8 miles per hour, 157.4 kilometers per hour, and could accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour, 97 kilometers per hour, in 16.0 seconds. A fuel consumption of 26.7 miles per imperial gallon, 10.6 L, 100 kilometers, 22.2 mpg US, was recorded. The test car cost £844, including taxes. 1958 MG MGA Roadster, North America MG MGA with pressed steel wheels, North America Twin Cam, MG MGA Twin Cam Production 1958-1960 Engine, 1588cc, 1 1.6L, B-Series DOHCI4 a high-performance twin-cam model was added for 1958. It used a high-compression, 9-to-1 later 8.3, 1, DOHC aluminium cylinder head version of the B-series engine producing 108 horsepower, 81 kilowatts, 109 PS. Four-wheel disc brakes by Dunlop were fitted, along with Dunlop peg drive knockoff steel wheels similar to wheels used on racing Jaguars, unique to the twin cam and, deluxe, 1600 MKII roadsters. These wheels and chassis upgrades were used on a small number of the, deluxe, models built after twin cam production came to a halt. Aside from the wheels, the only outside identifier was a, twin cam, logo near the vent aside the bonnet. Twin cam logo next to vent. The temperamental engine was notorious for warranty problems during the course of production, and sales dropped quickly. The engine suffered from detonation and burnt oil. Most of the problems with the engine were rectified with the introduction of a 100 bhp, 75 kilowatts, 101 ps, low compression version, but by then the reputation had been tarnished. The twin cam was dropped in 1960 after 2111. 2210 according to some, had been produced. Production ended in April 1960, but had slowed to a trickle long before. An open car was tested by the Motor Magazine in 1958 and was found to have a top speed of 113 miles per hour, 182 kilometers per hour, acceleration from 0 to 60 miles per hour, 97 kilometers per hour, 
in 9.1 seconds and a fuel consumption of 27.6 miles per imperial gallon, 10.2 L, 100 kilometers, 23.0 mpg US, was recorded. The test car cost £1,283, including taxes of £428. Oddly, an open MGA twin cam, index PMO 326, road tested by the Autocar magazine in its 18 July 1958 edition only recorded a 0 to 60 time of 13.3 secs with the standing quarter mile of 18.6 secs. The mean maximum speed was 113.5 miles per hour, with a best of 114.0 miles per hour. 1600 and 1600 Deluxe. MG 1600 Production 1959-1960. Engine. 1588 cc, 1.6 L. 1960 MGA MKI Roadster. In May 1959 the standard cars also received an updated engine, now at 1,588 cc producing 79.5 bhp, 59 kilowatts, 81 ps, at the front disc brakes were fitted, but drums remained in the rear. 31,501 were produced in less than three years. Externally the car is very similar to the 1500 with differences including, amber or white, depending on market, front turn indicators shared with white parking lamps, separate stop, tail and turn lamps in the rear, and 1600 badging on the boot and the cowl. A number of 1600 deluxe versions were produced with leftover special wheels and four-wheel disc brakes of the departed twin cam, or using complete modified twin cam chassis left redundant by the discontinuance of that model. 70 roadsters and 12 coupés were built. A 1600 open car was tested by the motor in 1959. It had a top speed of 96.1 miles per hour, 154.7 kilometers per hour, and could accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour, 97 kilometers per hour, in 13.3 seconds. A fuel consumption of 29.7 miles per imperial gallon, 9.5 L, 100 kilometers, 24.7 mpg US, was recorded. The test car cost £940 including taxes of £277. Mark II and Mark II Deluxe. MG 1600 Production 1960-1962. Engine. 1622cc, 1 1.6L, I4. The engine size was increased again to 1622 cc by increasing the bore from 75.4 mm, 2.97 in, to 76.2 mm, 3.00 in, for the 1961 Mark II MGA. The cylinder head was also revised with larger valves and re-engineered combustion chambers. Horsepower increased to 90 bhp. It also had a higher ratio 4 to 1 rear axle which made for more relaxed high-speed driving. An inset grille and Morris mini tail lamps appearing horizontally below the deck lid were the most obvious visual changes. 8,198 Mark II Roadsters and 521 Coupés were built. Road & Track magazine reviewed the MGA 1600 Mark II in the September 1961 issue and reported an estimated top speed of 105 miles per hour and a 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration of 12.8 seconds. The inset grille fitted to the 1600 Mark II. 1600 Mark II Deluxe Roadster, with knockoff steel wheels. As with the 1600 Deluxe, there were also some Mark II Deluxe versions, 290 roadsters and 23 coupés were produced. The MGA's bodywork was based largely on that of a one-off MGTD specially built by the MG factory at the request of racing privateer George Phillips for the 1951 24 Hours of Le Mans. Later, a new chassis was designed so as to seat the driver lower in the car with even cleaner bodywork resulting in the X175 prototype. The later MG prototype X182 was very close to the final production MGA and was the car actually raced at Le Mans in 1955. Three MGA prototypes were entered in the 1955 24 hours of Le Mans. Two of the cars finished the race placing 12th and 17th overall, proving the worth of the new car. The third car crashed with serious injuries to the driver, Dick Jacobs. The MGA has been raced extensively in the US. Since its 1955 introduction and with considerable success.
In Sports Car Club of America competition, the MGA has won numerous regional and national championships. It has also been a favorite choice of those competing in vintage racing. Kent Prather has been the most successful American MGA driver to date with G production wins at the SCCA National Championships in 1986, 1990, 1995, 2002, 2003, and 2005. Prather and his MGA accomplished this despite the fact that his MGA was often the oldest vehicle competing among several hundred race cars at the SCCA runoffs. In the United States, the MGA was used in NASCAR from 1960 to 1963 in the Grand National Series, failing to win a single race. The MGA is a sports car that was produced by MG from 1955 until 1962. The MGA replaced the MGTF 1500 midget and represented a complete styling break from MG's earlier sports cars. Announced on 26 September 1955, the car was officially launched at the Frankfurt Motor Show. A total of 101,476 units were marketed through the end of production in July 1962, the vast majority of which were exported. 5,869 cars were sold on the home market, and the MGA was replaced by the MGB. Thank you for watching British Classic Cars.